everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here then hello and welcome my name is Alexis and today I wanted to share with you my Easter haul as I just mentioned today I want to share with you my small Easter egg haul so yesterday I went shopping to Sainsbury's and I picked up a few bits for Easter and I, we also had a Tesco's delivery on Wednesday and we got a few bits for Easter there as well so we're all organized this year which is quite surprising for us normally I'm a bit last minute at Easter at Christmas we're very well organized but at Easter it always seems a bit last minute but I think because we've had such a challenging year we kind of want to make Easter a bit special this year so I've been out and I've brought us all Easter eggs and little bits and pieces as well so I wanted to share all of the the items that I brought with you so here is my small Easter haul so I'll start with the items that I brought for Ted first because Easter is all about the kids isn't it really um, and Ted said to me we went to Sainsbury's a little while ago and we were looking at the Easter eggs and he asked me if we could have a Maltesers egg and a Thornton's egg and I said yeah that's fine so I was speaking to Howard about it while he was at school and Howard does the Tesco shop on his app on his phone normally so he went and had a little look for Malteser eggs and he found this one it's much larger than the egg that Ted had actually asked for but I'm sure he won't mind um, and yeah this one has a milk chocolate egg full of crunchy yumminess it has two creamy bunnies and mini bunnies as well um, and that's it so yeah it's got quite a lot in there so it's got two Easter bunnies and then the mini bunny bag as well um, and it's got a crunchy egg as well so I'm sure he's really gonna like this it is a lot larger than he was actually asking for and he's not actually the biggest chocolate fan I have to say he does like it but I think I think daddy might be helping him out with this one to be honest with you but yes he likes Maltesers though so I'm sure he's gonna enjoy the bunnies in this in this box I can't remember how much it costs but if I can find it I'll link it in the description box below for you we are also going to be doing an Easter egg hunt on Sunday morning as well we do this every year and normally we buy little Easter eggs in a box so you get about 18 or 20 in a box I think last year we bought some from M&S but this year Howard found these Malteser Easter egg hunt mix so this has 17, I can't remember what exactly it has, but it has um, the bunnies in it and it's got a few eggs as well. Um, so yeah, it's got seven of, uh, seven hollow eggs um, and then it's got eight Malteser bunnies and eight Malteser, eight Malteser mini bunnies, sorry, and then two Malteser bunnies. So this isn't all for Ted. Unfortunately, I can't eat this because I think it might, it doesn't have any gluten in it. It's only got milk, although the Malteser bunnies have barley in, so I can't eat these at all. Um, so Howard and Ted are going to share these between them. Yes, so yeah, so Howard and Ted are going to go on an Easter egg hunt. I will probably organise it. But yeah, we thought this was a little bit different um, and something that the kids might enjoy as well. Again, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below. But I'm really looking forward to planning my Easter egg hunt now. And then Ted asked for one more Easter egg. Um, so he asked for a Maltesers egg when we were in Sainsbury's and he also asked for a monster egg. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the monster egg. I had to get a Thornton's dinosaur egg. So this is just a milk chocolate egg and it's got a dinosaur face on the front. He, as I said, he originally wanted the monster one, but when I went into Sainsbury's, they unfortunately didn't have any of those. And I think, I think because we had a look on the Tesco's app but we couldn't find any Thornton's Easter eggs on the Tesco so I think Thornton's might only sell to Sainsbury's I'm not too sure about that um, well they're eggs at least so yes this is a dinosaur Easter egg I think this was reduced in Sainsbury's actually yesterday I picked this up and it was three pounds originally three pound fifty as well so again if I can find it I'll link it in the description box below for you 
And then because my son is not a massive chocolate fan, but he is a big sweet fan, I bought him some jelly snakes as well. Um, these are the natural company natural confection company and there's no artificial colors or flavors in here obviously there's still sugar in these but they are a little bit better for the body um he does love his sweets so i'm sure he's going to enjoy these and these were only a pound when i went into sainsbury's i did want the fizzy ones because he really likes fizzy sweets but unfortunately they didn't have any of those so I just got him some jelly snakes and I'm sure he'll be happy with these and daddy's got some wine gums for Easter so I'm sure he'll be having a couple of those as well so yes again if I can find this I'll link it in the description box below for you and then I also brought Ted a Lego magazine this year um, I thought this would keep him entertained on Easter Sunday he really loves his Lego at the moment so I'm sure he's going to enjoy this um, so this is a Lego Star Wars one and you get a free piece of Lego on the front as well these aren't too bad. I normally buy Ted one of these at Christmas as well. He tends to really enjoy these magazines. So it's $3.99 for this. Um, I wouldn't buy it every week, to be honest, because it does get a bit pricey. But just because it's got the Lego on the front, I do think it's a bit of a bargain and I don't mind buying it occasionally. So yeah, he's got a Lego magazine as well for Easter. And I wouldn't normally buy a present for Easter, but he has been such a good boy during the whole of lockdown and he's been really good at school as well. He's been really good at going about going back. He did have a few tears for one day, but he seems to be okay again now, touch wood. So yeah, because he's been such a good boy, I decided to treat him to a Pikachu bag. He wanted this. He kept asking me if he could have it as a treat for Easter. So I said yes. Um, this was £17 on Amazon. And it's one of those that you can change the front. So if you slide it up, I'm not going to take it out of the bag. But if you slide it up, it changes into a Pikachu or a Thunderbolt or something, I think. I'm sure he will be showing you these this in a video of ours at some point. Um, so yeah, he wanted this. And as I said, it was £17, I think, on Amazon. So again, if I can find it, I will link it in the description box below for you. And then I also brought some Terry's Chocolate Orange Mini Eggs as well. So I brought these to bake cakes with. So I was watching a clip of this morning on my phone the other day and they'd invited a lady and I can't remember her name she comes in quite a lot on this morning um, and she was making cakes so she was baking cakes and what she was doing was making the cake mixture putting half in the uh, cake tin and then putting a mini egg inside and then putting a bit more cake mixture on top and what she did was she froze the mini eggs so that they didn't um, like go all gloopy inside the cake so I thought that Ted and I could do that so I bought these Terry's chocolate orange ones and I also brought these Rhythm 108 um, vegan truffle eggs as well so I thought Ted and I could have a go at freezing these and then putting them inside a cupcake mixture and baking it um, I thought that was quite a good activity for Easter and I'm doing some gluten free as well which is why I've bought these Rhythm 108 ones and these are vegan and they're organic and gluten free obviously they're organic because there aren't that many of them so yes, I thought we could try that um, and see how it turns out. I'm sure it will be good. So I'm going to do some gluten-free and some with these. I don't think, no, these aren't gluten-free. No, I don't think these are gluten-free. So I won't be eating these, but I'll definitely be trying some of these ones. So yes, um, that recipe, I think I will have to save until next year because it's an Easter one. But if I remember, I will put it on my blog at some point. Now on to what I brought my husband and what he brought himself for Easter this year as well. So how is it he didn't want an Easter egg? He actually only wanted a bag of wine gums and some chocolate and I'll show you those in a moment. But I was having a look in the Easter egg aisle in Sainsbury's yesterday and I saw this one and this is a billionaire Easter egg. So this is a milk 
chocolate egg. So it's a hollow chocolate egg loaded with a mix of white chocolate, milk chocolate, front loaded, sorry, with a mix of white chocolate, milk chocolate and dark chocolate chips, drizzled with dark chocolate, caramel flakes and honeycomb. Um, I'm not sure about the dark chocolate. He's not the biggest fan of dark chocolate, I have to say, but he does love caramel and he does love honeycomb. So I'm sure he's going to really enjoy this. Normally, every year he would get a Thornton's egg and we would go to the local shop but the shop closed down even before the pandemic. Um, we used to know the manager in there, so I would always I would always go in and get Easter eggs from her. Um, but yeah, as I said, it closed down. I think it was probably about a year before the pandemic happened. So we decided before the situation happened. So I decided that I would have a look in Sainsbury's and see what they had. If they didn't have anything, I wasn't going to get them anything. But I saw this one and thought he'll really enjoy this. It was only £4. I mean, it's not the biggest egg in the world. But I thought for £4, it's not bad. Um, and it's a Sainsbury's own one as well. So I think they only sell these in Sainsbury's. So if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below for you. But I thought he'd really enjoy this as he loves his caramel and his honeycomb as well. And then, as I said, Howard also bought himself a bag of wine gums for Easter. He came home um, from Sainsbury's and went, I bought these for Easter. I was like, okay. Um, and then he also bought this crunchy bar as well. So this is a crunchy bites. I saw those yesterday. I thought about getting one for Ted, but I thought he could share daddy's to be honest. He's got enough chocolate over there now. And then um, he also bought the Marvelous Creations one, the Jelly Popping Candy. Both Ted and Howard really like these chocolate bars. Um, I don't, I think they might have been on offer when Howard bought them. They weren't when I went in yesterday, but I think that's why he picked them up. Um, so yeah, again, if I can find these, I'll link them in the description box below for you. And finally, onto my egg. So I normally don't ask for Easter eggs at Easter. I'm trying to be good and cut out the sugar and the filth from my diet. But due to the situation, and as it has been quite a long year this year, I thought I'm going to treat myself. So I went to the gluten-free aisle because I'm gluten intolerant, and I found quite a few eggs in the gluten-free aisle, but I picked this one, and I'm really excited by this one as well. This is a buttermilk, treat yourself better, dairy-free, salty caramel crunch, and it has a choppy egg, and I think it's got a couple of chocolate bars in it as well. Um, it's great for vegans, it's palm oil free, dairy free, natural ingredients-ish, um, compostable, gluten free and plastic free as well. So, and it just looked really yummy. There were others in there. There was a Numu, which is another brand like this one. It's gluten and dairy free, um, but it didn't look as nice as this one, I have to say. I can't remember how much this cost actually, but if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below as always. But yeah, I just thought this one looked so yummy and I'm really looking forward to eating this on Easter Sunday. That was my Easter haul and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. What Easter eggs are you getting this year? I'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.